Plant cells have several key features that make them easy to identify. First, they have cell walls made of cellulose, and these cell walls give plant cells a very characteristic box-like structure. Plant cells also have a very large central vacuole in the middle of the cell. This central vacuole is full of water and minerals, and it helps to push the plant cell out into the cell wall. This helps the plant maintain its turgor pressure and keeps plant cells stiff and rigid. And finally, plant cells have chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are organelles that allow plant cells to perform photosynthesis and make food for themselves. Plants also have many tissues made of specialized cells that serve functions for the plant. The plant's epidermis is the tissue that is along the outside of the plant. Along the epidermis there are tiny pores. Each pore is called a stoma and it's surrounded by a guard cell. Several pores are called stomata and the purpose of these pores is to allow gas to enter and leave the plant. Each stoma is surrounded by guard cells and these guard cells help to control the size of the opening. If plants need lots of gas to be exchanged, the opening can be big. But if they're losing water and water vapor is escaping the plant, the guard cell can close each stoma to prevent the plant from losing too much water. The cells in the epidermis also produce a thin waxy coating called a cuticle. This cuticle is along the outside of the plant and it helps to prevent water loss because water will not pass through that waxy coating. Plants also have several important organs, including roots. The roots of a plant are a part of the root system. The roots of plants have three major roles. First is to absorb water and nutrients from their surroundings. The second is to anchor the plant to the ground or surface that it's growing on. And third, the roots help to store energy, nutrients, and water for later use by the plant. Everything above the ground is part of the shoot system of the plant. The shoot system contains tissues and organs responsible for many of the plant's vital functions. The shoot system provides structure and support to the plant so that it can grow. Water and nutrients are also distributed through vascular tissue in the stems. Leaves produce the plant's food by performing photosynthesis. This converts solar energy into usable chemical energy, and that chemical energy is in the form of sugars. And the reproductive organs of the plant are also a part of the shoot system. Flowers or cones are the reproductive organs in many types of vascular plants.